Ah, the Nintendo Switch. Probably one of my favorite home consoles right now. Now, when they first started to announce the Nintendo Switch, I did a video in the beginning stages of the Wii Dean channel where I said, finally, finally Nintendo goes in the right direction. I was probably one of very few people who was excited for the Nintendo Switch and finally thought that Nintendo found something that was gonna save them. Now when the Nintendo brought the Wii U, they had a handheld controller where you can play your games on the handheld screen while the TV was on something else. And the only limitations to this device was the fact that that handheld could not leave your house. But they answered it with the Nintendo Switch and personally, I thought, who wasn't going to love the fact that you can not only play Nintendo games on their new console, on your home TV, but if you had to go out, you can take the game with you. The game, the gaming was not going to stop because now you have it in a handheld mode. I thought Nintendo was a genius, and honestly, they are. Last year, they sold 10 million units. If you have not picked up a Nintendo Switch, what are you waiting for? This thing is amazing. I personally love it. I have a stack of games and the games keep coming because I have almost every game that I'm interested for the Nintendo Switch pre-ordered on Amazon. So needless to say, every time I pay my Amazon card off, it keeps going up. No, Nintendo, you got me. If you're not pre-ordering your games on Amazon, why aren't you? You should head over there. I will throw a link to a list of Nintendo Switch games. Join Prime. I know it costs a certain amount of money a month, but when pre-ordering games, you get a pretty crazy discount. Like a game going for $60, I have gotten for 40 something bucks, $47. It's well worth it, trust me. But that's not what this video is about. About the Nintendo Switch, but more specifically, the accessories that I have for the Nintendo Switch. Let's get into it. Let's find out what accessories I have and also find out some alternatives to the Pro Controller. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of My Tiny Point of View. We're taking a look at the amazing Nintendo Switch. I personally love this console. There's great ports coming to the system such as Doom, Bayonetta 2, which I still don't have Doom, but I do have Bayonetta 2. The only thing I do not like about some of these ports is they're bringing these double packs such as Resident Evil Revelations and Bayonetta. And one of the games is physical and the other one is digital. That's kind of annoying. Like Resident Evil's Revelation, you got the first one physical and the second one was a downloadable digital copy. I wasn't fond of that. I would more like to see inside that case that both games are on separate physical cartridges. I think that that would be cool. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Now with Bayonetta, they did the same thing, but luckily enough, the first Bayonetta was digital and the second one, which was never released on any console other than the Wii U, was physical, so I was happy to see that. But today, we already know that the Nintendo Switch has been extremely popular. And like I said, if you haven't picked one up, click the link in the description down below, get it. It is amazing to be able to play your Nintendo games or any games for that matter, on your home TV. And if you have to go out, if you just have to leave the confines of your own home, you take that system out of the dock and it goes handheld. And we all know Nintendo has been very successful in the handheld market with the DS. The system is so successful that Limited Run has also announced that they are going to be printing limited run copies of games for it and their first games have been announced and that is Flint Hook which you did see released I think for the PS4 and the PS Vita and also a game that I've never heard about that seems pretty interesting due to the cover art which is Mercenary Kings. I think I'm going to rather enjoy that but we are here today to see what type of accessories I have and the accessories that I'm looking for for the Nintendo Switch. So let's get into that. And the first thing I wanna take a look at is this Zelda, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild case. Now I think this case came in two other colors, 
I think it was gray and black. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. But the blue one to me stood out the most. The case itself is pretty well made. That's the outer shell is pretty thick, so if you happen to drop the case or or you stuff this in a bag and there's a bunch of stuff pressed up against it, your Nintendo Switch will not be damaged. As you can see, I have not used this thing yet because, honestly, personally, I have not taken the console outside of my house yet. I know, sad. A console meant to be taken on the go and I haven't done it yet. But in here, you have a little pouch for holding the charging cable and the adapter. That Velcro's off. And inside here, you have not only one, but two plastic cases for holding your games. That does come with the protective case. And your Nintendo Switch sits right in there over top of there. And as you can see on the inside, it's pretty firm as well. This thing will protect your Nintendo Switch pretty well. I love the Zelda Breath of the Wild design. I think I paid, well, I didn't even pay for it. My girlfriend finally bought it for me after I was looking at it for months. 20 bucks. Next you have the slide-in controller that came with the Nintendo Switch. These things are all right, but I personally rather have a traditional controller. And that's where the Nintendo Pro Controller comes into play. Now this controller is amazing. You will hear a lot of people talk this controller up. The only problem with this controller is it costs about $70. You might see it for a little less in the 60s, but very rarely do you see this controller go down. Now, I did a video where Amazon would ha was having an amazing sale. This controller was $50. Unfortunately, my computer took forever to render the video, and the process just took forever. By the time I got the video up, the sale was over. I got mine for $50. Probably the only reason why I had the Pro Controller in my arsenal right now for the Nintendo Switch. Maybe at some point I would have sucked it up and paid the $70, but it's really expensive, but it's a great controller. The price might lead people looking elsewhere, and most of the time you'll see wired controllers, such as this one. This is a Mario printed wired controller from Power A. Now, I bought this controller because it went down to $20. I think the original price at some point was $30. Bucks. For $20, I had to get it. I think it was around New Year's. But nonetheless, it's a great controller, but it has to be wired and it has to be connected to the only USB port on the Nintendo Switch's dock. And I think this controller came with interchangeable thumbsticks or D-pad. I cannot remember. It's a great controller. It's pretty well made, pretty sturdy, but... Most of us are looking for an alternative wireless controller to the Pro Controller, and I have found two that I think are pretty decent. And the first one is the J&T wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch. Now this controller on Amazon, I think I paid 30 bucks. Now I have seen it on the Wish app for around 17 or 20 dollars. And for the most part, while testing this controller, it worked really well. Now, obviously, it's not as good as the Pro Controller, but we all can expect that. It is made of a pretty sturdy plastic. It's pretty lightweight, so obviously, it's made of a cheaper material than the Pro Controller. But for the most part, this controller does work really well. Now, there is no... I, I hadn't experienced any vibration, so I don't think this controller has any vibrating motors in it or anything. For the most part, the thumbsticks feel pretty well and the buttons are pretty good. I'm not going to go too far into this controller because I'd like to leave that for a review of all three of the wired controllers that I personally own for the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, for the most part, while using this the j and wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch, worked pretty well. Now the next wireless controller that I have in my arsenal for the Nintendo Switch is the Orbitz Gaming Wireless Controller for the Nintendo Switch. This one feels like it's made of better quality than the J&T, but for the most part, it's pretty light as well, but it does have these rubber grips here. During gameplay, the controller worked really well. I love their little robot logo, which I'll throw up on the screen here. It is pretty cool. Personally, if I was going for a wireless gaming controller alternative to the Pro Controller, I'd probably go with this one. I just like its design a little more. And this one does come with all alternate D-pads that you can put in here. I haven't tested those D-pads out yet, 
that will be saved for the video review video of this controller. Honestly, it worked pretty well. Now, finally, because of using or testing those wireless controllers out on the Nintendo Switch, I finally got to play Zelda Breath of the Wild in that game. It's amazing. Those controllers finally got me to dive in. Now, I've been slacking on playing some of these Switch games that I need to get into. I've done a video where I showed you guys where a lot of my games are still sealed. And I'm, I'm just happy to finally get back into gaming. Now, the next things I like to look at are 8-bit do I personally think that they make great gaming accessories and one of them is this Nest 30 which I did do a review on and these 8-bit do or 8-bit oh I don't ever know how to pronounce that are compatible with the Nintendo Switch and they make for great controllers so the Nest 30 is a pretty good alternative the great controller works pretty well with the Nintendo Switch now in my Nintendo Switch I have 8 gig micro SD card now we all know that the Nintendo switch is limited on space as far as internal so you're probably gonna want to get a pretty decent sized SD card but last but not least the last thing I want to take a look at and you guys will all remember this thing being featured in that video I did while testing different USB controllers on the super retrocade and that is the N30 arcade stick. Now obviously you've seen in that video this arcade stick failed to work on the Super Retrocade, unfortunately. But it works really well on the Nintendo Switch. It works really well with fighting, especially some of those Neo Geo arcade games. I've tested it on Sonic and it worked pretty decent. So if you're looking for a really good arcade stick, I for the Nintendo Switch, I'd take a look at the 8-bit do or 8-bit-o NES 30. It's a great arcade stick for the Nintendo Switch. Alright, well now that was all the accessories that I personally own at this moment for the Nintendo Switch. There are a lot of others I'd like to purchase and I'd like to go in it and the first one is a bigger SD card. Like I said, I only have an 8-gig SD card in the Nintendo Switch. And I'd like to at least get a 64 gig. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done much research on the limit or where it stops as far as size is concerned for the Nintendo Switch. If I can get an 128 gig or a 256 gig, I will. Although those cards are going to run pretty high in price. I'd also like to get the Breath of the Wild version of this wired controller only because I'm a pretty big fan of Zelda. I'd like to get some sort of hub so I can use multiple USB connections on the Nintendo Switch. I'd also like to get another Nintendo Switch dock. Now I know the Nintendo Switch dock that is official to Nintendo is rather pricey. I think it's $80. Knowing me, I'm going to end up getting it anyway because I like official Nintendo products to go with my Nintendo Switch. But every once in a while, I do get third-party accessories such as those wireless controllers that I showed you. I also need a Joy-Con charger and a charger for the Pro Controller. And I'd like to get one that charges both of them simultaneously. And I have seen one, which I'll show up here on the screen. I don't remember the name of it or, or the manufacturer, but I'd like to purchase that. Also, for a long time, I've wanted to get two new Joy-Cons. And I want the neon yellow one so bad because I think on the gray Nintendo Switch, they pop the most and look amazing. At some point, I will pick them up. I've seen them vary in price. The main price is the, you know, the normal $80 price range for the Joy-Cons. But I've also seen them go $90, $100 because as those neon yellow Joy-Cons sell out and they do sell out pretty fast it takes a little while for them to get back into stock in certain places they are pretty rare they do come out but they're sort of like the SNES classic and people just grab them up as soon as they're there I'm sure there's other accessories that I would like to get for the Nintendo Switch but those are the ones specifically right now that I'm looking to purchase if you have any suggestions on Nintendo Switch accessories or hardware, please leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of some of the accessories that I showcased in this video. Do remember that those wireless 
controllers there will be a review video on it on reviews by this guy on the we Dean channel i'm gonna review the pro controller the jnt wireless controller and the orbits controller all in the same video i'm gonna put them up against each other and see which one i think works the best obviously you're all probably saying of course it's gonna be the pro controller and it probably will but even at that i will let you know officially which one between the orbits and the jnt controller i like the most at this point due to design and just the feel in my hand and the little bit of testing i did i'm probably going to go with the orbits controller everything featured in this video will be a link in the description down below if you have any questions about any of it please do leave a comment if you found this video to be of some sort of value please consider sharing amongst your friends Please consider hitting that thumbs up if you liked the video. If you're interested to see more from the Weed Dean channel, as always, please hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't got a Nintendo Switch, what are you waiting for?